Well, good morning, Year 12. With the current restrictions in place for schools, I acknowledge your disappointment that our usual end of Year 12 events that, would be, that we would celebrate as a college community with your parents, family and friends present have not been able to occur this year. We too share in your disappointment. However, it is important that we acknowledge this significant milestone in your schooling. And as a staff, we are grateful for the opportunity to be present with you at school today to farewell you. We also look to you with the greatest respect for what you have endured through these unforeseeable challenges that you have faced throughout your senior school years. You may not have the whole school community present here with you today, but know that you are in their thoughts and are leaving them an incredible legacy of resilience and determination to succeed. I now welcome Mr O'Neill to lead us in prayer. As we gather, I acknowledge that we do so on Aboriginal land and pay our respects to the traditional custodians past and present of this land of the Tharawal people, who long before us lived, loved and raised their children on this land. I acknowledge our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander families in our community and acknowledge their deep physical and spiritual connections to their land. As students of Magdalen College, you have been encouraged to make Jesus Christ the center of your lives. You have it. been reminded to measure your Here words you and actions by the standard okay. of gospel values. Searching. You have made friends and reached out to others in the college community. You've been ch challenged to be people of peace and justice. As you leave Magdalene Catholic College, I ask you to strive to live by the ideals we have placed before you. A reading from the Gospel of John. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they've put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there but she did not realise it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and sisters and tell them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're now going to have some prayers of intercession. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we celebrate the culmination of 13 years of learning for these young women and men, we humbly join our prayers with theirs. Gathered together as a community in the presence of God, let us call to mind our many blessings and ask God to hear these prayers inspired by the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you guide you 12 in their future. May they be inspired by Mary Magdalene to recognise and bear witness to your presence in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, keep this 2021 Year 12 cohort mindful of your place in their lives and help them to be true to the ideals and goals of Magdalene Catholic College. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all those who have supported Year 12, staff, parents and guardians, family and friends. Bless them with your loving care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we know that your loving care and guidance will follow these students. Be with them as they prepare for their HSC exams and continue to journey with them as they go forward into a new life. May their path lead to success self-fulfillment and joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mrs. Tolhurst will now commence the presentation of the Year 12 students to Mr. McMahon. Good morning, Year 12, and welcome to your celebration day. Mr. McMahon, and on behalf of Mr. Arcano, I present to you the students of 12 Brookhouse. Willow Shea Bond. Ella Boss. Corey Berland. Sophia Campanaro. Nicole Chimbawara. Brady Cottle. Ellie Augusto. Kayla Dale. Althea Faith Bella Cruz. Tyrone Fergie. Jamie Kitchener. Jessica Carumbas. In his absence, Kevin Lim. Zara Maffrey. Hayley Magro. Tanika Magic Babasa. Mary O'Connor. Alexia Osterfish. Lauren Scalino. Taylor Shaw. Claire Bella. Brianna Williams. Marissa Williams. Christina Yunan. Isaac Sarafa. Congratulations, 12 Brookhouse. Mr. McMahon, on behalf of Miss Sade, I present to you the students of 12 Dunn. Thomas Arnold. Macy Athanasi. Madison Bethel. Ethan Beryl. Karina Krishank. Jada Eljamal. Phoenix Elliott.
Jessica Finnick. Montana Francois. Grace Galvin. Sophie Gottel. Alyssa Greenhall. Jeremy Yoakum. Olivia Yoakum. Gabrielle Lavagio. Talia Omak. Tiana Roberts. Layla Sell. Patty Asinchek. Amy Summers. Marcus Tepignon. And Naomi Whedon. Congratulations, 12th done. Year 12, 2021, this is your time to shine. So your senior years at Magdalen have been hindered with instances far beyond our control. My experience as your year coordinator over the last three years and assistant coordinator when you were in year nine indicate that you will always somehow make the best of any situation. In saying this, I would like to acknowledge and thank the year 12 pastoral team and Miss Kripalari for their support and dedication to this year group and the leadership team in guiding us all through a time no one expected. The wider community of Magdalen, the teachers, school support staff, parents and carers, I thank you for holding the fort in moments when we were unable to. However, we are not here to talk about the year that was. We are to talk about the year group that is. The year group that is resilient beyond measure. The peers that, have never, leave, that never leave anyone behind, no matter what has gone before them. The friendship groups that have been developed based on solid ground through trust and life experiences throughout your schooling, teenage years, and now your young adult and final chapter of secondary education. Year 12, 2021, you have done it. And you will continue to do your best, shining through your success as a cohort in year 10, maintaining your business as usual with room, in, with room for improvement in year 11, and now the time to shine in this year, your year 12. Though there have been many triumphs and tears throughout the years, and many memories made, you will, also, you will always be connected as part of the Magdalene community. You will always have a space and a legacy as the youth group that never gave up and that continued to face adversity and challenges, usually with a smile on your face. In your upcoming HSE examinations, you will sigh with relief when they are done. In the meantime, we will think back to your time at Magdalene, the many funny pranks that have been played by yourselves or by me, our time on retreat, the way you really stood out in Magdalene Shines, our university visits in year 10, the way you and your pastoral teachers really set the standard in decorating your year 12 pastoral rooms and the way the majority of you at one point or another have taken off in another direction when you have seen Miss Kuplari or myself coming. The time you all went absolutely crazy in our treasure hunt, even though it was slightly amusing and entertaining when some of you literally ran in the wrong direction of where you meant to go. All of the memories when I thought I didn't when you thought I didn't know things that had happened or had been said, only for you to realize that most things never got past me. I'll always be thankful for the amount of times I've been referred to you as your school mum or accidentally called mum or the ear to listen that you never realized you needed or the person that always had your back regardless of what had occurred. I am thankful that you accepted me for my flaws of getting my words muddled up regardless of how funny it may have ended up. Year 12, I hope that when you hear the phrase, is that okay? Or does that make sense? that you will roll your eyes and giggle whilst you remember your time at Magdalene. If you have learnt one thing from the time I was your year coordinator, 
I hope that it will be that kindness can always shine through and that each day is a new day where slates can be wiped clean and success can come from even the rockiest of ground. As you move forward into your future endeavours, I will miss the shenanigans of the year group that faced the challenges they never expected, that still continue to shine and that enabled the comeback to be greater than the setback. For this, I am incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Farewell, my wonderful year 12s. You will not be forgotten. I will now welcome Ms. Kupalari to call 12 Hogan and 12 more. Thank you. Mr. McMahon, on behalf of Mrs. Eggleton, I present to you the students of 12 Hogan, Sammy Ahmed. Aidan Atsbury. Alana Bonewright. James Brady. Emily Cook. Christina David. In her absence, Olivia Davis. Yasmina Jurovic. Jack Johnson. Travis Lamont. Madison Lopez. Kevin Maldonado. Michelle Maldonado. Venetia Manuel. Olivia Moudoua. Christelle Oligario. Emma Pifke. Chanel Reynolds. Andrew Rickson. Troy Senek. Elliot Smith. Brody Street. Monica Ware. Albert Wojcik. Congratulations, 12 Hogan. Mr. McMahon, on behalf of Mrs. Jones, I present to you the students of 12 more. Noel Alberto. Anika Alvarez. Vince Arcady. Alyssa Brown. Samantha Calhane. Brayden DeBella.
Monique Downs. Matthew Dransfield. Lindsay Dunlop. James Fabricato. Guy Grafenius. Olivia Hall. Cameron Harriet. Lachlan Johnston. Ella Jane Jordan. Emily Croucham. Joy Marchand. Jaden Metcalf. Madison Phillips. Brandon Ripponek. Grace Shields. Alexander Vincent. Chloe Watkins. Sienna Zunik. Congratulations, 12 more. Talia Omak and Bo Severin will now address Year 12 as our 2021 college captains. Good morning, Year 12. Wow, welcome to Term 5. About a year ago, we were just beginning our Year 12 journey, and who would have thought that a year later, we would be entering the first ever Term 5 together, still not even having started our HSC exams. It has certainly been a long, unpredictable and wild ride, but we finally made it to the home stretch with 18 days until the start of our first HSC exams and 42 days until they are all over. As you can tell, it's not very long at all. So keep going and give these next few weeks everything you have. We know everyone here is capable of achieving great things in their HSC and beyond school as well. Motivation is hard to come by right now. So do whatever you need to get into that focused headspace, whether it's goal setting, watching some motivational videos or listening to your favorite music. But also make sure you take that time for your own well-being and organize your time well. We also wanted to say a massive congratulations to everyone here. Making it this far has not been easy and we've all shown immense strength, resilience and determination in the face of adversity, which is a big feat in itself. You've all done the almost unimaginable this year and now it's almost all over. So truly congratulations to every single one of you for your achievements through this wild year. Last but certainly not least, a massive thank you to the college staff for their unending support and efforts over our high school journey. There is no way we could have done this without you. From adapting to Zoom lessons, to holding workshops and being generally a very strong support system for all of us, you have not gone unnoticed. Thank you for building connections with us and helping to lay the foundations for our future. Year 12, keep pushing, keep striving. And most importantly, remember the HSC is not the end of the world. You have all got this. Thank you, Magdalene, and God bless. Thank you, Talia and Bo. Mr. Kafan, on behalf of Mrs. Hort and Mrs. Dre, I present to you the students of 12 Patricia, Harper Crawford. Benjamin Croxley. Olivia DePorbe. Nicholas Dimitaris.
Polly Dillon. Olivia Farrell. Kira Jenkins. Isabella Lawrence. Chelsea Levan. Sheridan McClafferty. Brittany McIntyre Evans. Anna Moulis. Ellie Moyle. Hayley Nielsen. Natalie Noakes. Jade Oyston. Kayla Perino. Shelly Spuno. Bo Severin. Peyton Wilshire. Congratulations, 12 patricians. Mr. McMahon, on behalf of Mrs. Aglin and Mrs. McAllister, I present to you the students of 12 Cedric. Terry Allen. Kyle Apa. Joseph Bampton. In her absence, Libby Clapton, Nicole Elkala, Madison George, Milio Gonzalez. Eden Grewer. Harrison Haley. Madison Hamilton. Alexia Kola. Bronte Kyle. Caitlin Myers. Malia Plummer. Ben Sell. In his absence, Jacob Schmull, Jacob Simpson, Chanel Wales, Claudio Zimatore.
Congratulations, 12 Sedgwick. Thank you, Ms. Tolhurst. Uh, not quite the final address because we do have an event on the 13th of December that's planned, our official graduation. So we're definitely looking forward uh, to that. It's true, Year 12, that the format of today is not exactly as you would have expected. A fifth term, as our captains have just referred to, is not what we thought would happen. Yet this year, where we've well and truly learned, um, we've needed to be flexible. Indeed, we've learned that we cannot focus on what might have been in 2021. Instead of inhabiting a space though of woe and what could have been, we must firmly live in the here and now. And this is an incredible lesson for life. You all need to be proud of what you have achieved. We are immensely impressed with what you have achieved and who you are. You are joyous, caring and quality young people. I believe you will be remembered extremely fondly for your resilience and your strength, even though at times this year, it would have been beyond frustrating that you were missing out on a typical year 12. So yes, today is different than other year events, but today is a celebration. 13 years of education is something to be recognized and celebrated. It is truly something. I also want to highlight the opportunity it presents. In looking for a poignant message for today to endure into the future, well beyond the lockdown experiences of over the past four months or so, I'm drawn to the notion of liminality. Stemming from the Latin, limen, it means threshold. The idea of liminal spaces is not new. In fact, it's a key feature of architecture. And this has happened for thousands of years. The design of temples, for example, you're starting in a really small closed space and suddenly you see the amazing view in front of you. Light and darkness in temples, it's also found in house design from a hall into again, a large space. But the American priest and theologian, Richard Raw, in writing about liminal spaces, he says, where we are betwixt and between the familiar and the completely unknown, there alone is our world left behind. While we are not yet sure of the new existence, it's a good space where genuine newness can begin. Get there often and stay as long as you can by whatever means possible. This is the sacred space where the old world is able to fall apart and a bigger world is revealed. If we don't encounter liminal spaces in our lives, we start idealizing normalcy. So this space, this liminal space, it's defined by gaps and silences. It's a time of uncertainty. For months now, like the 70,000 odd year 12 students around the state, you've been wondering what might happen. What might happen into the future? Indeed, just this morning, as you're getting out of bed, you're probably wondering, what's the day going to look like? What's, what are the next two weeks going to look like? And then of course, we have the examinations. While your teachers are overwhelmingly confident with what can happen, in those tests and what you can achieve further after school, it is these periods of uncertainty and doubt that can provide us with incredible opportunity, clarity of goals. Often when we are in liminal spaces, we have the feeling of just being on the verge of something special. And you are on the verge of something very rich and powerful. These liminal spaces are introspective places. They're unsettling but we want you to continue to reflect on who you are. And what you are is something very special. Build from these unsettling spaces where genuine newness and the bigger world can be revealed. Life is all about pivoting from one moment to the next. You are about to experience a lifetime of transitioning from one moment forward. So go gently at these times. As this liminal time moves to a close, draw upon the love of your family. Draw upon your faith. Draw upon the care, concern, and guidance of your teachers. Draw upon your peers and your friends. It's great to see one another today. But most importantly, draw upon your own immense strength. You are powerful. If you can do these things, the output will be tremendous. And now I just want to talk about the idea of gratitude. And I can't overemphasize the importance of being thankful and feeling grateful to others. Eckhart Tolle, 
tells us that acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation of all abundance. Therefore, I ask you to think about how you will thank your parents and carers in the coming months. While everyone's situation is unique, it would be fair to say the sacrifices that they have made and continue to make are noteworthy. I'll speak more at the actual graduation ceremony about the critical role of family, but I do thank parents and carers in their absence today. I thank them for their ongoing support and care for you and for instilling a moral compass in every action of yours. So how will you thank them? Equally, I ask you to think about how you will thank the teachers who have helped you over the past six years. Yes, it's their job, but as you know, our staff go beyond just this. It's a vocation and they genuinely enjoy assisting you and helping you be the best people that you can be. For myself, I would like to thank our college executive, Ms. Kupalari, the year 12 pastoral care team, and especially Ms. Tolhurst for their fabulous support in such a trying year. To all teaching and support staff who have had anything to do with this year group right through from year seven, 2016, a sincere thank you for your efforts. Your contribution is considerable and the success of these young people is a credit to you. Additionally, I thank everyone involved in today's event. So year 12, I know we will see you in classes and completing revision around the college over the coming weeks, but I want you to reflect and pat yourself on the back for what you have achieved. When you think of it, 13 years of schooling is a significant amount of time. It's an achievement in a normal year and then you add the considerable challenges that 2021 has put forward, well, well done. You have made a commitment and almost seen it through to its end point. And this year group has been so impressive from classwork to major works in history, research projects in extension science, society and culture, major works in timber, design and technology, the list goes on, magnificent art pieces, drama performances, music performances, I'm going to leave people out here, but there's a rich vein of talent in this year group. I've expressed this in various ways before, but simply, I don't believe the Lord put us on earth to be self-focused, nor did he put us here to be ordinary. We have a wonderful opportunity to make a significant mark upon this world, especially in this mixed up 2021 world that we've just seen. The Japanese word and concept, komoribi, Komoribi. It translates as the scattered light you see that filters through the trees. You might be walking through a forest, you look up and you see this dappled light coming through. You can feel the warmth. You can see the light. That's the liminal space. Walk firmly into the bright light of your futures. Know that your God walks beside you, protecting you. Continue to live out our college values into your future. Embrace the light and walk from this space of the unknown into your bright futures with confidence in your God and yourselves. So in conclusion, recognize your strengths and don't be shy. Celebrate the things you do well. Find confidence to do the things outside your comfort zone. Be the sources of inspiration and passion to make your families your local communities, and beyond, a better place. Trust your decisions, your God, and act, and success will follow. So in the words of the author, the author of Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. Congratulations, Year 12.